Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Dan, the T-shirt guy, and this is the Never Show, where you never quite know what I'm going to do next. The only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget. And it's Wednesday, and you know what we do on Wednesday? Yes, it's time to review the movies. So let's get into this thing here and today we review Monster Hunt so um, I'm not big on artsy films and things with subtitles but I have to admit this looked interesting to begin with so you've piqued my interest by being original it was directed by Ram hey you uh, HUI Ram who and I will have to put his name on the screen here uh, I'm not going to run down the cast because, A, I'm just going, it's, it is an all Asian cast. It's all Chinese. I don't speak Mandarin. It was a little bit hard for me to follow, but, um, I don't want to mispronounce all these names. Literally, I'm just going to mispronounce everything. <laughs> the, so, I'm not going to do cast today. Let's get, um... Now, you're saying, whoa, 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 whoa. This movie came out in July of six, six, July 16th of 2005 in China. But, whoa, 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 wait a minute. It just came out January 22nd, so we're in that three-week buffer. It is still, so it's still fairly fresh here in the States. It's not super popular, or not Japanese, it's in Chinese, and it's in subtitles. So, uh, it was pretty hard to find. Uh, Aikido Films, A-K-D-I-O Films, was uh, the release. Uh, Film Rise was the U.S. release. Um, I haven't seen, I until I saw this today, I hadn't seen anything about this. So, and unlike, you know, Zootopia, which we keep seeing everywhere, this was kind of like a little sneaky one. Now, I know that you not everybody's into, you know, foreign films. What I have to say about this, this is epic. It is ridiculously epic. It is an over-the-top special effects movie. Um, the characters are lovable. They're cute. You want to hug them so bad. Um, as a furry, I'm going to give this a four out of, four out of ten. No, nah, I'm going to go five. I say 5 out of 10 as a furry that you're going to like this just because it is so technically beautiful. Um, it is ridiculous. There is so much going on in this movie. And you may want to watch it twice just because. So it is one of those films that comes along every so often that has a wildly good story. It is not Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But it is one of those things that's original. And I like original, unusual things. Things that are eye-catching and beautiful all together. It, it has a beautiful story even though there is some things in the story that I don't like. <laughs> you know, they fall into the same tropes. But... The story is so beautiful and so elegantly told that you kind of for, you kind of let, let those things slide. Do I see this as a rewatch? Yes, if it's on TV and it's English dub. Do I see this as a rewatch in theaters? No, but it's so hard to find. This was just a luck of the draw on this one. So uh, I do see this as a DVD buy because epic you don't get this every day this is a me this is like Miyazaki if Miyazaki was Chinese and not Japanese film and that's all I really have to say about this this is a good film if you can find it in a theater go watch it if you can't I highly recommend you get this through Netflix or 
wherever. Uh, it's very underrated for what it is. So this is Dan the T-Shirt Guy saying this is Monster Hunt. And if you like what you see and hear, punch that like button in the face. And if you and if you want to stick around for a while, click that click that subscribe button. Become one of my YouTube friends. Join my sniper clan. Yes, we have a sniper clan. We have two of them actually. We have the furry one, which we can't say because you know, furry. We're trying to keep it PG here, folks. There are children watching. And there's the other one. Blood Money Murder. And you will be welcome in both, depending on your preference. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.